Welcome to Call to Comedians. Welcome. What up, bitch? We're in Chunchain, Chinon. We're in, uh, totally not China. We're gonna see Poe from Kung Fu Panda later, probably. <laughs> he does have that vibe. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, as we're talking about before, I just want everyone to know my workout goals and my dream journal both have Sonic Boom's, uh, knuckles in it. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> your dream journal? Yeah. And your workout journal. Yeah, it's not a dream journal in the sense like you, you well I mean it is like I, I do put my literal dreams in it, but also like what I want to happen. So it's all three of those things. It's my workout goal, my dream journal in the sense of what I have slept and thought about, <laughs> and what I want to become real. Okay, so it's so it's one notebook. You don't have separate notebooks. No, no, no. That's I can believe I can believe having one notebook. I could not believe you just having a notebook just dedicated to your hopes and dreams. <laughs> that would be, you, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that would be very uh that'd be very weird of me. That would be a waste of space in your in your Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, ew, what's this shit? And just throw it in the trash like a week after. <laughs> it's like this is this is pretty sad. I'm just gonna throw this away. <laughs> yeah. You, you probably just sit there and look at this fuck, this is something David would do. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, I about clean fuck. Anthony, I opened up my heart to you, and here, this is how you repay me, by silently killing little stupid creatures. Uh, hey, it's my thing. <laughs> it's fun thing. He's kidding the game, man. You can, you can throw the box at me. I don't uh, know if it's effective, but... But, the, the punching. Punching. Do you have a dream journal, Anthony? Uh, why would I tell yeah, you that? Yeah, are you a cop? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's some, maybe there's some vestige of your life that you actually like. Oh, here's something about funny, your feelings and emotions. David, uh, I'm not normal. Hoping that there's somewhere in your life where you get that. D David, you'll love this. Uh, Austin found out that Anthony had a VR headset for around a year, and he just never told any of us. And he found out by just seeing his Steam game history randomly. Uh, he saw uh, Beat Saber, one of my shortcuts yeah. on my computer. Yeah. He just he just owned and played a VR headset without telling any of his friends. Because you know, why would you why would you share such information? For all we know, Anthony's been <laughs> deported. Oh. What Don't happen worry. What happened to my my uh, Go. Eggman? My boy. Well, he's not Eggman anymore. You can't see he, it. He but he he will always be my Eggman. Sorry about that. I uh, died. Please, please go on. Please go on about um. About, Anth about uh, Austin discovering Anthony's headset. Head yeah. Head yeah, he found out he owned Beat Saber, and he asked him uh, if he owned a VR headset. And I remember interrupting, saying, uh, Anthony doesn't have a VR headset, that's not something he would do. And An Anthony was like, oh yeah, I played it a few times. He just owned, he bought a fucking, what was it, was the $400 version? Uh, 405 At, Nice. One of those. Uh, so he bought a VR headset, Played it like a few times, maybe for like a week or a month, and just never told any of his friends that he bought it. You know, the sad part is, I'm pretty sure I've seen his headset in the trunk, in his trunk before. <laughs> no. I just thought, oh, well, uh, I, I, I just, just... I'm gonna be honest with you, David. I, uh, everyone, like, who, yeah. I, I never had it in my trunk. It's always been in my room. That's my porn, that's my else porn else headset. That's my personal porn headset. <laughs> it's different. Cheaper, okay. Whee! Where I play, uh, where I play all my beat, all my uh, angel beats. Hell yeah. Oh. Dance, yes. I'm just picturing Anthony like fucking dancing right now. Oh, I'm playing Kurt beat saber. Uh, I'm like playing something like Maniac on the floor. <laughs> oh, trust me, I uh, I go. Oh, die boxes. He he only yeah he only plays Lincoln uh, Park songs. So he, he he power dances to Lincoln Park. Hell yeah, <laughs> Anthony. Uh, you're not known for your uh, I'm gonna call it stamina. Uh, you're known for your strength, surprisingly enough. But I can only imagine you playing Beat Saber for at most thirty seconds before accidentally like collapsing on the floor. Uh, fortunately, you would lose that bet. 
<laughs> I would lose that bet. Yeah. He played I, for yeah, five I, seconds. I, I, yeah, I've, played I've played it. I I've played it for about an hour and a half, th two hours. Yeah, I like it's how you sound it, proud. It, it rest stops every minute. Trust me, I, I just take pause the game because because you you forget my punishment has always been uh, stand in the corner and it's always been <laughs> three hours to. Eight hours. I am. Really. I have my standing muscles. Okay. <laughs> you're you're basically, just, you're basically admitting nothing else. You're basically admitting how worthless of a workout it is to the people who try to use it as a workout. <laughs> That's basically what you're saying. Right now. <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> because I, I know you, Anthony. I, I watched you pick up three That's bales of hay and then almost die. Because I, 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 I just don't have the energy, bro. Yeah, I don't. I don't. When it comes, yeah. when it comes to picking up things, I don't know why. You have the weird body of a man who can do like twenty plus push-ups, but if you ask him to sprint for five seconds, he might die. Collapses on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so at least I'm like completely active, so his body. Yeah, David's at least consistent. I can't. I, <laughs> I can't be consistent. When I, when I, tried, I tried to be semi-athletic, I was semi-athletic. And then I turned back into a fucking sack of fucking rotten uh, potatoes. A potato. Um, that sounds good. Sounds like a really delicious meal. I'm, I'm going to make that one day. Side note. Um... <laughs> um, what the fuck was I getting on about? God damn it. Something about potatoes. Oh, yeah, once I become a useless sack of fat potatoes, uh, I went back to just saying a useless sack of fat potatoes. All I got uh, out of that was sack of potatoes. Well, okay. he's just saying he's consistently non-athletic. Oh, okay. I mean, I, and when I tried, I would stay consistently okay. I could do, I could do some rolls. Ninja uh, rolls. Uh, personally, me, rolls, no. Uh, anything useful, no. But if you ask me to bend a ring-like uh, ring, uh, I, I, I got you covered. If you need me to bend the circle, that's made out of rubber. I, I, I'm your man. I did a stage clear. I do like shitty Spider-Man, uh, Anthony. You were saying, sorry, uh, I, I died and uh, resurrected for your sin. Oh, good. Uh, it's a little too late for Easter reference, but I'll accept it. No, I tried. It's okay. Uh, I, I was just saying that uh, I can't do anything useful like rolls or any anything like practical. But if you can find me, if you need someone to squeeze a ring made out of rubber, I'm your boy. Oh my God! Secret art. Yes. <laughs> Secret art. It's been hidden for decades. Go to a Potos Gaia Gate. Cool. Epic. Continue playing? Yeah. Yes. Duh. Never gets old. It just has to make sure that you're not crazy. Auga! Auga, indeed. You know, this werehog design is dumb, but I do like the arms, what they. Uh, I, I like the color. The, the white on, like, yeah. weird blue. It's pretty nice. I found the one thing I can say nice about Werehog Song. Pinky thingies! Amy, get away from me! Yeah. Get away from me, female uh, monster. Did I, did I roll or something? Oh, yeah, sorry. We usually try to schedule it for a uh, board session, but we didn't get a chance. <laughs> uh, I mean, you do you. At least you actually admitted your, your embarrassing sex thing. <laughs> hey, bestiality is cool. It's epic. I know Chandler would disagree because what I do to uh, puppies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Of course, of uh, course, I wouldn't do that. I'm, I'm a nice guy. See, see, I'm what you call a true anarchist. I do anything <laughs> that pisses off the state, including fucking puppies. <laughs> Especially fucking puppies. Hello, random medieval weapon. This. Oh! Oh! Well, Scooby Doo! Scooby Doo! Yeah, it does. Kind of, this is. 
<laughs> yes, dope. Uh, or yeah, sorry, uh, out of, uh, uh, in context here, David's name on here is Doped Up Blizzard. Uh, what's Damn up, Dope? Yeah, Damn straight. You doing okay there? Am I? Uh, my computer's having... It's having butthole issues. Uh, you should, you should get it plugged. <laughs> yeah, you, you got an asshole still? Cringe, man, get that plugged up. I know, I know what you mean, Anthony. And yeah, I don't know where the fuck my uh, Ethernet cables are. Uh, you I, should... think I, lost, I think I lost them in between moves. That's possible, yeah. Dagan uh, used like it all up for uh, butt sex. <laughs> Kinky sex. Yeah, he used all my Ethernet cables for butt sex. Absolutely. What? Uh, what do you think I Ethernet cables sex. are for? Uh, you tell me. I, I just, I, I also, I too in, in indulge, indulge in ass ass play. <laughs> Is it like a ch like a reverse uh, Chinese finger trap? Is yes. that how that works? Yeah, yeah. Except uh, when you replace the fingers with uh, assholes, and you replace mm -hmm. the finger trap with uh, with an Ethernet cable in oh, each other's ass. This back to back, like ass to ass. The sounds. This sounds genius. We should pack yeah, this. So hot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wee. It's my so really cap. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Do yeah. you get what I am saying? We, we all know you don't get what I'm saying. I get, I get, I get, saying, I get but, what you're uh, saying. You don't have to keep repeating it. Jeez. Wee. Climb, 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 climb. You climb. forgot to break those orient oriental jars, you frick. But ancient Chinese oh, rice is in there. I always found it weird that apparently, like in the UK, the phrase "Oriental" is considered offensive, but in the States, we're just like, "Ah, fuck it." Uh, it's considered what now? It's considered like the phrase "Oriental" is apparently considered racist in the UK, but yeah. in America, ah, it's fine. But it's still, it's still considered racist, but like the only people that know it's racist in America are old people. Uh, like, okay, that's old, perfect. old people. I always found it weird. Well, I always found it weird whenever I see the word pop up. Um, like, for example, uh, the fucking as the, Orientals. As, as the, well, see, that's yeah. how it's racist. Also, like, it's not racist to call it uh, like as a descriptor for an object. I don't think it's racist to do that. Well, like, well, uh, oh. like for example, I have a good jump. Um, You're basically calling them as, mystical. As, yeah. As, ever, as everyone who's watched the channel knows, we all play Dungeons and Dragons. And one of like the titular like books in my collection that I like, never will really use, but I like, um, is called Oriental Adventures. Hell yeah, that sounds it's like a racist comic book. Oh, yeah, and you just, and you just <laughs> the whole idea is that you turn it into like a Chinese Japanese hybrid, super awesome, bu bushi bushido, super awesome anime. Yeah. Or some shit. I don't know. Would you still like Dragon Ball, the original, if the manga was called uh, Stupid Little Oriental and His Dumb Little Adventures? Sorry. Well, yes. I watched Stupid Dumb Oriental Boy and His Stupid Adventure Z. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. I was like four when I watched Dragon Ball Z, so I don't care what it had been called. That, that motherfucker, that blonde, that blonde, spiky haired motherfucker just beat the shit out of a guy and made him cough blood. On my, yeah. on my kid cartoon channel, so yeah, I'm gonna watch this. That is a fair point. Oh, oh. I think, I'm pretty sure when I was like four, I thought Dragon Ball Z was called Tsunami. <laughs> pretty sure. Like, I could be wrong. I, like, I was really, really yeah, little. Right. That's like, like, well, they, they, they show it all the time, so it's just like. Yeah, you know, I, yeah like. Yeah, I was like. Next or, time like, on Toonami. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I was supposed to be called, this is what, this is what called, and then I would be confused about the other shows that would be on. Yes, I don't know. This is Toonami uh, as well? I mean, that is pretty cringe, David, but at least you're not me, and when I was a kid, I, I actually thought Zatch Bell wasn't a terrible show. <laughs> you know, I really wish I could point and laugh at you, but I was like, I liked it when I was seven. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, I was. So, I, 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 I'm gonna tell you, I thought it was like 
okay, but I le- I only watched that show when uh, before I got on the bus as a teenager because it was the only thing worth <laughs> like the only thing I could watch. Well, yeah, I mean, all of those. First, only first the channel that put that on, on after the original run in America. That's surprising. Yeah. Well, that's the only reason I watched it was it was on Toonami like at weird times. I, mean, yeah, I, was, uh, I remember when it had like like time Cartoon Network time when I was a. Uh, I was like eight or nine, maybe seven. I can't remember. That was. I, mean, I guess I like the concept of uh, friendship or something. It's also the only run. reason I would watch uh, All Married with Children and. Uh... Now that you just you watched that show because it was you and Carton. <laughs> no, that would imply Anthony is relatable. So. <laughs> Anthony's totally uh, relatable. Anthony, say something relatable. Ow! <laughs> See? He's got it. That is only relatable in the most basic human way. Oh, he's big! Dude, let's try I mean, I'm here. still paying like you! I want, mm-hmm. I want your money! Also, it's, <laughs> it's time! I was gonna say, it's almost worse that you called the show relatable, because I called it Anthony, because basically all the characters are written by Anthony. Like the it's his, the fucking wife is literally Anthony's perfect mentee. <laughs> I'm sure relatable to some degree. I don't know. I haven't uh, watched Mary with kids since I was like probably the same time slot you guys probably watched. Except I also loved um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That show was awesome. Hell yeah, dude. So what'd you say about uh, uh, Married with Children, David? What'd you uh, say about it? You. I you, said you? that. Said that it was uh, idea was that they were supposed to be somewhat relatable in an over the top way. Um, you know, the husband has a nagging wife. The wife just wants to spend more. To- I don't. Fuck. I don't want. <laughs> right, right. Um, I mean, yeah, he has a shit job. Uh, Shoe like, store. Like, uh, yeah, Al is just like he's like an asshole to everybody, and like he's like basically hates everyone, including himself. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Oh, he likes uh, women, you know, oh, with that uh, big chest. Yeah, he's a woman. Yeah. What's that? I think I related to self loathing part. Well, yeah, I mean, we did. We're sad, but I don't know if that's. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you're if you're fucking awake at six thirty in the morning waiting for a sleep, <laughs> that's you, a fair you, point. You, yeah. feel, you would also feel fucking terrible, the, especially the... if you were like a, especially if you were like a shut-in dork like me. Yeah, oh the, the nerd, the the children class of society uh, relate to the the trivials of the working class by having to wake up at six in the morning. That's true. We must stop this. For those, for those like forty-five minutes, yeah, we, we felt like an adult almost. Yeah. I do find it funny that uh, uh, a lot of kids do have it worse than adults, even though you know we. Uh, we try to pretend otherwise, but I would hate having to be a kid again and then waking up at fucking like five in the morning like I used to. Oh, right. Uh, I literally remember I would like like I I th- sometimes I think I'm bad at work for drinking a lot of coffee, but I remember as a kid I'd literally sleep in every chance I got, like on the bus in between classes, like any chance I fucking got to, I did. Same. Uh, yeah, that's partially why I, it's partially why I always shower in the morning to force myself to wake up. Yeah. I feel awful once I get to school because my hands would feel all crusty from the bars. I know I would wake up in the morning just by uh, because I had gym first yeah. period, mm-hmm. so I I would have to go to the swimming pool and just it, it would wake me up. <laughs> oh god, I hate swimming. And I wake you up. It being very cold. Yeah, that sucks. And then a fire oh. drill coming in, coming on right after going in the swimming pool, so. It being winter too, so it was great. Uh, it it, uh, it woke me up because uh, it was fun to watch all the men uh, change in the uh, restrooms because there was a single gay kid there, so they're all afraid. <laughs> and the, the gym the gym coach uh, calling them all pussies basically. God, it was funny every time. That's funny. <laughs> I mean, I mean to be fair, uh, I'd be yeah, considered not that. because of the uh, not because he's gay, it's because I was like. I was like that too. Yeah. I, 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 I was insecure about my body. Yeah, I know. 
That's, it also it did make me feel bad because now it seemed like I was changing in the restroom because I was afraid of the gay kid, not because I'm, uh, I hate myself. <laughs> no, I tell, yeah, no. I'm not homophobic. I just hate myself. Come on. Yeah. Get it right. I'm on 4chan for the right reasons. I swear. The right reasons. <laughs> At that point yeah, in my in that what, point dude? in my life, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> 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 what are they gonna do? Laugh at you? <laughs> Anthony, you just had toe fungus growing all over your body. No. I... You purposely put it there so they'd have to see it. <laughs> Suck it, losers. Hey, Man, they wanted to look. They good. wanted to look. <laughs> <laughs> you want? Do you want some more of this, baby? <laughs> Just imagine uh, someone walking in there, you got a small dick, he goes, ooh, you wanna see it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that, I mean, that, that, scared, that scared me away if I was a high school bully. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, that that is funny. I don't know if it works anymore on kids, uh, but that was this one thing I saw people do, is if they called you, like, a queer or something, and you responded with, yeah, of course, and, like, give them a kissy face, like, they would always, they would always fuck them, it would fuck with them. Because what are we gonna do? Yeah. What are they doing at that point? Like, yeah, sure, maybe in like a week they're gonna like beat the shit out of you and call you fat fag, but I mean they're gonna do that anyway. Though, so. but, I, but yeah, either way they're gonna do that anyway. So you might as well, you know, get the upper hand for like five minutes. Yeah. No, I think that's. I don't know if anyone's ever tried this, but if you're gonna get your ass kicked for being gay, maybe just like try to kiss him on the mouth first and see what happens. Yeah, while you're fighting, just, just on lip, put your tongue right in your mouth. Especially, especially if you're like winning the fight, then like, <laughs> like... Hell yeah. Also, uh, it needs to be said that uh, I don't think uh, there was... We grew up in a school that didn't have many like real fights, so like don't take our advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're all fucking, we're all fucking joking. Like, I, like, I've only been bullied like... Three times in my life in, in school. I think you, if you paid more attention, I'm sure it'd be more. But yeah, but sure. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't though. Right. Like, when, I, when I mean bullied, I mean like legit people like fucking with me on a regular basis. I'm not talking. Uh, about I, feel, I feel you. I feel you. Like that, 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 that shit. I moved past. Like, like I said before the stream. Uh, maybe I said it on the stream. I was called the back chair in high school. I don't give a fuck. Right. Right. Why don't you call the back chair? You don't know what the fuck to do with your life anymore. Dead. Oh, uh, it's the uh, one elder person. Okay. Boss fight. Kill uh, him. Phoenix. Yep. This looks too cool for a stupid ass boss fight in this game. It's gonna be bad, right? Probably. We'll find out. Yeah. Dark guy of Phoenix. This seems like a Final Fantasy boss. Yeah, it really does. It's just like, maybe it's because like the, we're totally not China land. Yeah. Like a crane, but they wanted to make a crane a badass, which is really hard to do if you think about it. Yeah. The Kung Fu Panda was the closest to attempting that. Actually. Yeah, it wasn't very successful. They're, they're Kung, with their Kung Fu evil emperor crane or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. They have long legs, you see. Are you, are you supposed to drench it with water barrels? Yeah, I'm waiting for it to uh, come over here. I don't think it's going to. I think you just go straight throw at it. Take your, take your, uh, feathers Fine. like a bitch. You should, uh, ask this dark phoenix if it knows Ho-Ho, and we should get an autograph. That's this dark phoenix, uh... Why the X-Men move? Why, why are all her comic books so like, suck ass? Huh, huh. That's not... That's not entirely fair. I'm sure one of the phoenix storylines in the X-Men Sure. Maybe? I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of X-Men. Anthony probably is, aren't you, Anthony? Uh... What'd you guys say? Are you a big fan of X-Men? We're, uh, we were making fun of the X-Men. 
Oh, oh. yeah, quick time offense. Fuck yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. X Men is okay, but uh, I don't really read them oh, much. I always like the concept of X Men more than uh, the execute X Men. Yeah, I agree with that. Because it's Some of the characters on... cool. I'll admit that. Like, I, oh, like, I, I feel like everyone's got a favorite X Men. On the surface, it seems it's sort of like Civil War for me. It's like on the surface, it seems okay, but the actual e execution just comes off as no mm -hmm. everyday normal soap opera drama. Yeah, I mean that's what happens when you have the whole premise of it be originally like a bunch of high schoolers. Yeah, exactly. You got it. That's what the original X Men was. They were basically like yeah. either like college or high school age, and they. Uh... Yeah, it's all I think about when I think of X Men is just like petty drama like that. Yeah, like, remember, this is all in high school. All of this. Technically, in high school. Oh, yeah. All this dumb shit. Uh, if it makes you feel better, I think the same person wrote the Hunger Games has a superhero teen series now. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. So that's they have competition. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely... We need an American version of My Hero Academia. That's definitely what we need. Throw Anthony. I'm pretty sure that wasn't your fault, though. He was too far away. I felt like they placed him, like, above high. Like, if he was lower, you would have gotten him. Do you want to talk Eight? about why why we have respawning water barrels on top of weird podiums that make no sense? No questions. No questions. That's fair. Look at the pretty boss fight. <laughs> the sort of pretty bro. The pretty bird! Look at the pretty bird! The pretty bird. The pretty quick time event! Hell yeah, dude. God of War. If we're gonna rip off God of War, we're gonna rip off the, even the worst part. Yeah. The only part hey, left is, uh, is uh, him ripping its head off. <laughs> this is a... Uh, a cool twist. Yeah. This game is like 10 years old or something. Like, quick time events were cool back then. It's fine. No, uh, I mean, they I mean, they were according to the game industry. Yeah, yeah. They Perfect. really weren't. I mean, like popular trademark. opinion. I'm pretty sure it's like a trademark thing, God of War. Yeah, it is. It's a very common thing. Uh, That's what I thought. But uh, it's just that I'm pretty sure it was people were split on it when it first came out, but it was like 60 40. Like people were kind of. Okay I, I, think it, I think it could be done well, but. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. No, that, that, like, I, think, I think the first game that comes to mind I felt like did it well was Bayonetta, but that's about it. Okay. Right. To, 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 to be fair, I, have, I might have a mild. I have a bias for Bayonetta. Because you have a boner. No! <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I'll serious this now. I really, I just right. really like them. I mean, yeah, uh, Platonics, uh, they're, they're good on their beat em up. I, I only know because, uh, one of my favorite games of 2017 was Near Tomata, and they made the same people who made that game. Oh, they, they had a hand in it, anyway. It's really great to see this animation play out for like the fourth time. He's dead. Do you like how the Werehog makes jet noises when he zooms around him? I like that. Yeah, what I the like... fuck's up with that? <laughs> Sound not fast on... anymore. Why is he making fast noises? It's it's called fast dot wave. They need they need something to fill in there. Not so hot, Anthony. Try again. Yeah, you only got a C, you fucking am I don't know what the fuck you could have done to get a better grade, but that's a C. Probably less uh, hits. I don't uh, know. It's probably. probably. You need to pull off them combos. Uh. Oh, how can I thank you? I'm totally not a racist stereotype. I came here to look at the Holy Shrine, but... Somehow it seems like I lost consciousness. I am Zonzen, the village elder. Thank you so much for coming to my aid. What's this you wish to know about Ga Gaia Temple? Gaia Allow temple. me to Gay Temples? We've we've been the keepers of this holy shrine for many generations. Let me the tablet fragments you have with you. Rump here you are, the planet tablet. Now you can find what lies beyond the planet door. The fucking planet door. Yep. Why are there planets? Why are they planets? 
What the fuck? Because they split into you different know, planets. Your, your Sonic God of War Oh my god, we're restoring a yeah. We're restoring a second Chaos Emerald. I think oh, is man. second. I do want to justify my racism there. They made the Chinese elder have two visible teeth. That's uh that's a very old Yeah, I didn't notice that, but you're right. <laughs> yeah. And the fucking eyebrows all the way up to his oh, forehead. Yeah. That's right. So we restored two pieces of the planet. You did it, fam. You sure did, Anthony. Sorry, my cat's like meowing right in my ear. Hell yeah. Just oh, get off me, me ass! Oh, uh, <laughs> dead. Uh, <laughs> oh man. That's the goofiest looking fucking bird. I see. I'll bet you're I see. It's a good thing I didn't kill you. You must have gone berserk when the emeralds lost their power. Somehow oh, they're connected. I want to hear it talk, game. Give me no. Well, okay. I'm glad you're back. I don't want think it talks. Shit. You want some <laughs> fucking chocolate, bird? Takes chocolate. Take the chocolate. On it, guys. Yeah. Got some chocolate poisoning. Yeah. You know, this sell this on, will selling on eBay. The asshole's gonna go sell it on eBay. This will Get always be the moment, the lesson to be learned is to always have yeah. chocolate. Now uh, remember everyone, this is the canon lore of the Chaos Emeralds now. Yeah, uh, whatever. You know, this Are you kidding? Here's this the thing. Is it. Here's the thing. You know how it was chili dogs? Now it's chocolate. Now it's chocolate. No, it's that's just chip, chip though. We have yeah, we have two things, it's chili dogs and chocolate now. Oh, bars. Your dinner, doctor. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that variant of Orbot. I love it. Oh, look at that! Man. Look at that! Look at that JPEG sandwich. Oh, That's man. a JPEG sandwich. That's a yummy JPEG sandwich, you guys. <laughs> I would eat the shit out of that JPEG sandwich. I would eat the shit out of it too. Yeah, damn. He he deep throw that. Damn, yeah, faster than me. I wake Satan up, and this is the thanks I get. Come on. I'm not gonna enjoy that boss fight. Nah, you're gonna love it. Giant apocalypse bird. Whatever the fuck. It's. It's. Uh. I don't wanna hear about you're gonna fucking love it, Anthony. Enjoy it. I, don't, I wanna hear about fat shaming. This is unacceptable. Ergo, this is the repercussion of your hasty actions. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Having a bad enough day as it is. First, that professor runs off with the Gaia manuscripts, and now the planet's coming back together. Yeah. I wanted to blow up. Is the result of the power of the Chaos Emeralds, which you discarded Duh. with Sonic. Ergo, another repercussion of your hasty actions. Doctor, you're a bitch. Yeah, Eggman, didn't you realize the Chaos Emeralds are Gorilla Glue for the planet, dummy? I did better when my robots are dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think with the big picture, boy. Without any challenge. Yeah. <laughs> it's broke. You broke your robot. What's the status of the remaining temples of Gaia. <laughs> this is the best bit with Orbot. That's not even Orbot. It's all yeah, down from hell. It's like a it's like a variant of Orbot. It's like a Star Wars where you have like. Different R2D2s that look well. It, it's, basically a, it's basically a pre orbot because this was before that was a thing. I think, anyway. Isn't there a more efficient way? Some way to, well, I don't know, gather them all up at once. Wait, that's it, of course. <laughs> The David chair. <laughs> Shut up, Anthony. We need to buy you a chair like that, David. I would giggle like that a lot. I will not lie. That's why I smile. <laughs> go, go across <laughs> the room going, <laughs> No, we don't have us. Yeah, then. basically. <laughs> Professor Pickle, you may have found a new destination for you by now. Give, bring it in. Give me a hug. So right, let's go visit him in his laboratory in Spaghetti Land. Good. He really is like... Like, so desperately wanting a hug. 
I'm glad you call it Spaghetti Land because that is definitely what I I'm calling it. Yeah, I don't I don't believe in PC terminology. Uh, I yeah, this game's not going to actually wait. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Gonia. Oh, it's I mean, a little, little Italy. I completely spaced it, but did the African tribe have fucking uh, people with spears? Because holy shit. I yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think I, so. Oh, oh hell yeah, I mean, dude. My oh. only, my oh. only, uh, my devil's advocate on that one is uh, the tribes oh, are all African like tribes with spears. So oh that? my. There, there oh. still exists some African the tribes. Well, yeah, that, yeah. Like, the dark guy of Phoenix has appeared. Events are unfolding, just as they are outlined right. in the Gaia manuscripts. Very interesting. Additional Either study of the Gaia manuscripts has yielded new information. Spaghettiville and Ch Ch China are your next destinations. No, it's Taiwan. You will need to consult the local populace for further detail. Alright, Sonic. Time is of the essence. Do pick up the pace. Well, you asked yeah, the right guy during the right time of the day. Oh, yeah. If he runs like across the planet and it's, the, it's like nighttime, uh -huh. uh, because that because that's how the real world world works, and I'm gonna put real world logic in my video games, uh -huh. like run across the planet, will he immediately turn into Werehog because it's night across the planet? So you got the moon tablet mm -hmm. from Lucium. Hmm? I'm going to assume so. What? You've already Maybe. gone through the door. You might be chosen one. You might. You might. <laughs> no, you read it right. <laughs> you might be the chosen ones after all. And if you are, what more do I need to say? Just take this damn thing. I sure you. I'm sure you know what to do with it. You guys are the prophecy. Find all the Gaia temples and put a cap on Dark Gaia. Oh, this is like the third game or piece of Sonic media that said that Sonic was a chosen one. Uh, yes. What was the other one besides uh, uh, the uh, uh, the Sonic Chris the Sonic the Hedgehog Christmas special? He was the chosen one in that. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, for safe Christmas. God, I was um, hoping we would play a good stage. Well, we don't know yet. I think I, I, I think we're playing we're playing as regular <laughs> Sonic. You. Because we're going to the sun door. That. Hell yeah. I'm oh, um, trying to think of the other property. Uh, it was a video game or some Tie shit. Pops? Oh, Sonic Underground. Type oh, yeah. He, he had a, they had like a they had a chosen one subplot in addition to a having a mother subplot and then also uh, I mean it's taken to the world subplot. And, uh, it's weird that, that show had a lot of shit going it's on. It's weird that it lagged. It did. Uh, don't talk shit about Song Underground subplots. It's only bad because they didn't finish it. That's the only, that's the only reason. Uh, it's only bad just because it's fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put it that way, I, I guess. You, know. if you judge things like based on their value, then sure. Jeez. Their value? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the thing that we did, we supposed to judge their value? Don't. We, we don't. I feel like you, yeah, we've yeah. done this level Fuck, before. They're all. I mean, considering these these levels are just kind of racetracks, like it's kind of hard to tell the dip them apart. Like, I think this is the place we started at at the beginning of the game. I mean, that's definitely the scenery. I'm it's sure the layouts. I, I wouldn't know this is the exact same level though. Kind of like a electronic kind of like mania where. where they have like the exact same uh, visuals, but heck, that they're technically different based on level design. Dead. You're dead. Uh, dead. I, lo I love the animation. Dead. dead. dead again. Dead. Like, at least That's, a concussion. That that animation made this game worth it, man. That's great. I love that animation. Well, now I gotta find it in uh, other games. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is just making me wish that my my uh, my copy of Sonic Generation for PC actually worked. Right. It doesn't work. Ah, it doesn't really work. Oh, Unless this whole like COVID bullshit shows up uh, in this, I'll, uh, I'll I'll show it because it's a weird thing. Like I don't get it at all. What's oh. wrong with it? I might have maybe it's, like maybe I did something wrong in the installation or you can just do what I what happens is the, the game won't start. 
Yeah. They don't have a controller uh, setting. They were really set the controller settings, right? Yeah. And it won't let me save the controller setting. Yeah, I have a similar issue with Sonic Adventure 2 actually on Steam. So you can just, yeah. just do what I did and uh, you can buy the legit version and then when it doesn't work, pirate it. And then that version probably will work. That's... That's fucking awful. I'll do that, but that's fucking awful. Society. Society. Yeah. I tried to, and I looked up uh, what was it, like other people were setting it up and... They don't have a stable mode. Function on my, uh, my huh. Makes sense. So you having fun, Anthony? Yeah, fucking, You're... I'm, I'm going fast. I, I did like how they definitely emphasized that, like, no, this is gonna be the game where you go fast. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, dude, I fucking love that shit. I was like, a, like I kind of liked these levels, but my internet wasn't completely awful. I, I wouldn't mind playing new funny levels. It's not bad looking. Necessarily. I, I really think uh, I, I don't think I think I talked to Anthony about it, not you, David. I'm not sure. We we're talking about it would be cool if they made a Sonic R sequel that had these controls. Yeah. It was actually like a racing. Game. Just, oh yeah, that would be cool. Continue playing, of course. A racing game with these kind of controls. I play yeah. the shit out of that. And then people couldn't say, why are they in cars if they go so fast? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wow. Oh, god damn it. I'm not like, I'm not like a player or anything. I was like, genuinely, like, I thought you hit that. Dead. Nice wall. <laughs> you have to collect 200 rings, is that what you're doing? Yeah. I think you fucked up. I don't know if you're going to be able to get 200 rings. We'll find out. Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and say no. <laughs> you just got to believe, okay. you know, guys? Maybe the, maybe the Supposed to get that. You should get boosted. I don't know. Yeah, can you boost in the. Uh, I managed to get it on my first try when I was playing this level. You just skid your face against oh, the wall. Don't fuck up, dude. Don't fuck up. Don't, you're fucking up. Oh, yeah, you're there's no way. Up. I was close. Look, if you ain't first, you're late. That means you're definitely gonna get it next time. Yeah. Bobby. Bobby, if you ain't first, you last. And you're, if you're first, you're propane. No. I don't know, Dad. Mm -hmm. I do like how, because uh, I, uh, I, I was re-watching South Park, and uh, everyone knows they have their hate boners for hippies. Uh, but I don't know if everyone knows that King of the Hill also hates hippies. And I think that's funny. Also hates hippies? Uh, King of the Hill. What was it, David? What did you say? Also hates hippies. Uh, Society? Richard Nixon? Oh, I thought you mentioned like a South Park episode of hippies. Yeah, like, uh, well, Hank hates, hates hippies. Uh, in South Park, uh, it's Cartman who hates hippies, and like and the whole town ends up hating hippies. Uh, in King of the Hill, there's an episode about uh, saving a park or something, and Hank ends up having a confrontation with a bunch of hippies. And the hippies call him a fascist for something funny. I, uh, but let's be honest, I if anyone's going to hate hippies, it'd be, uh, it'd be Hank. Is, uh, well, my favorite. Good. We've been all kinds of places. Yeah, my so favorite. Far, nobody knows me. Sorry. 
I must, I must do what I must do. He's not tired. You got the, the show must come on. I already think that. Uh, my one of my favorite, I guess, it's a heavy Anne Hill joke was the entire episode where the uh, non-veterans and the uh, War II veterans uh, together both treat uh, war very differently. Yeah. Like uh, the not like the World War II veterans are like, ah, fuck it, we killed Japs. We're rescuing the Japs. elder. Or for damn it, Beat what the what's the voice? For uh, rescu okay. uh, well, for rescuing the elder, you have earned a well-deserved rest. What? Guy, uh, example? The, uh, Sorry, uh, haven't heard of it. The elder would be the one to talk to about that. Anyway, uh, whereas the non-veterans are like crying and being <laughs> and being like, it's okay, man. Okay, but, because it was numb. It's fucked up. It was fucked up war. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I was, and then the fucking war two veterans. I think I do remember that episode. Pretty good. I liked it. Didn't make the non-veterans look bad. Animals in my pocket. Let me see. Might be chocolate. What is this doing here? I can't eat this. Is that, woman, is that a fully grown woman or a young boy? Young, I can't young boy. He had a fucking soundtrack in his goddamn part pocket. Um. There's this in-game content that you can yeah. play. That that is weird. Oh, hello, racist. Oh, every time. I... Oh, worst can express how grateful I am to see you. Too. I appreciate those no problems. I deeply respect for it, and hopefully, thank you. I have entrusted Julian with something you've been looking for. I believe you find her sitting on a bench down the street, doing nothing. Just a bench. Bench. She just sits on benches. Don't worry about it. That's what she do. You guys are Where awesome! You? You, you not only saved the Elder, you're gonna fix the whole planet! I have no eyes. <laughs> it sure is a big <laughs> world! Oh, I almost forgot. The Elder gave me something to give to you. It's supposed to be very valuable, but I'm sure we can trust you with it. The infinite darkness of her mouth is disturbing. Sacred Shrine, baby. Oh, yay. We're gonna get an actual fucking level? Or are we gonna continue the, uh... I the think we're gonna be, uh, level? Wolf on this one. We'll see. Oh, yeah! Yeah, so, I think I remember the episode. No. It's hard to say if they're, they're shitting on, uh... If they're shitting on Vietnam veterans for being pussies, or if they're just playing out how heartless, uh, the greatest generation was. Uh, it was, uh, I've never seen the Star I, one, I, club, the but... I knew that it was a compromise, because they ended up, you know, getting along. Oh, of course. Half of the, it also, there was, also the climax was the Nombats, like, suffering people and trying to kill people, kill them all in the woods. Hell yeah. Kill them all in the woods, baby. I, I was well, wrong, we're playing a song Yeah, because well. yeah, they just, you know, flashbacks, not non-flashbacks. Charlie. on Rambo on Not go fast. Not go fast. What's with your weird like Jesus move that makes you float? Oh, uh, so whenever I press Y, it's uh, you can basically collect rings like in a row. Oh, okay. It's his ring dash. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why does he do the little floaty thing? I guess that's just what they that, do now. Yeah, that's just his animation for it. I like how they just got out of the way. They're just like, fuck like, this. Oh, fuck, I ain't fucking on that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if you actually lost health for slamming your face against the wall. Oh, he just appeared right there. Boost to win, more like boost to instantly kill yourself. Just smash your soul. Oh, shit. Shit I mean, uh, at least Sonic has a very easy and convenient way to painlessly kill himself anytime he wants. He needs it, yeah. We. Yeah. He's my game. 
do tricks like skateboards. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, I just love how every like time he boosts at this, it sounds like he's mid Dragon Ball Z fighting game combo. Yeah. I'm like in the actual show he's doing like a combo, no, in like a fighting game. Wee. Like sounds you would never hear the I, cat Dragon Ball B cast make in an actual show. I, I want I want them to remake Sonic X every time Sonic goes fast, he makes this grunt. Yeah. He literally runs and makes that sound effect. Yeah. I just can't touch these things. Well yeah, you typically can't touch swords, yes. I know, it's okay. usually bad. I like how he just fucking drifts on the goddamn water. I'm not running so super. I, maybe it's because he wasn't running super fast and they yeah. didn't have like a. In the case, they didn't have a plan for that. Yeah. It doesn't look nearly as cool when it clearly breaks the laws of physics. Yeah. Almost like Sonic. Ah. <laughs> Boo. Uh, Boo, Anthony. I'm sorry. Boo. I like how those are just the hoops from fucking Billy Hatcher. Weird. You ran directly into those. I don't know what you're talking about. Prove it. Fair point. I'm not gonna do that. Whew. I almost just want to ban you from boosting. It's so annoying to hear him grunt. <laughs> it is. It really is annoying. I know he kind of has to. We so glad that. that got rid of that. that yeah. Yeah, I if I hit those things, I'm pretty sure I would have died. Probably. An, up, baby. an A. Yeah. Oh, or B. Sad face. I didn't go oh. fast enough. Fuck you, boy, bitch boy, in static mode. It was great. Good, hmm. good shit. When when David's lagging out, he re it, for some reason he just turns into like a uh, a robot, like a robot bully. Oh, another. I just imagine a robot bully. Another collect two hundred rings. Keep boop, motherfucker. It's <laughs> only when I'm trying to stream shit like this. I know, right? I failed. We did. It's your alive, I guess. We. The staff order, like, kind of fixed it, I think. That's good. I don't know how. I don't have the stream on full screen. <laughs> Hell yeah. Watching a tiny, I'm just watching uh, his game, uh, Anthony's gameplay, like, a tiny, tiny little stream. Hell yeah. You know what? It works, so. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's pretty much how Jake does it. He watches it on his phone. That might be why it works so well for him. Maybe. Try. Damn it. Popping out. Like, putting on a window, basically. Anthony, why you suck? Because... You suck! You suck! I blow. Get it right. Mm -hmm. You're right. I'm sorry. I... I'll be more respectful you for now I on. blow with Lincoln's swords. That's true. I can't fly good away. I have the same logic on that as Christian. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know. Oh, I do. You have to. Oh, really? No, that's a fair point. Yeah, I, I think I said too much. No, I need to know. But I think. 
I don't mean to be a shameless plug here or anything, but um, there's a there's like a huge fucking series of docu series on that YouTube called the uh, Chan Comprehensive History or Story. I can't remember which. It's like so far, it's almost like 38 part, and it just left 2010. Nice. It's if you have the patience for it, it is some great a fucking entertaining autism because this motherfucker Chris Chan is probably the most like a well documented person on the internet. Probably, yeah. So probably. the question is it's the question is he ate his own semen. <laughs> Just silence. I'm gonna take that as uh I can't <laughs> Nice, Anthony. You had one job. Don't hit anything. I'm gonna be honest. One job. I completely I spaced it, and oh, we completely blew. <laughs> oh, that means that he did read it. I saw. Okay. Did. I I read the first line. I didn't read. I didn't read the second one. Okay. All right. Uh, sure. That doesn't really help you much. The first line tells you everything you need to know. No, reach the goal. Uh, goal sure ring. I didn't sure. read further than that. Oh. Okay. Well, the first line is "Don't break anything along the way." That's the first line. Uh, He's well, talking about the. Don't uh, read yeah, the secondary text. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where right, the actual um, objective is. Not my. <laughs> I want to be fast. Uh, <laughs> so, did he eat his own semen? Yes. Good. Excellent. Like, he, like I said, he admitted it on like so either a b mumble, bumble, or call. Yeah. Fuck yeah. He said it recycles it. Amazing. It's just like the Native Americans, dude. You have to use all of your. He actually also claims to be a part Cherokee or what a Cherokeean, as he calls it. Who does? I'm, uh, Christian. The um, internet also, And then it was revealed. And then it was revealed that he was uh, not only not. American at all. Yeah. It also, uh, he also, um, it also turned out apparently that he was part Jewish, which is really funny. Why is that funny? He, oh, is he anti Semitic? He is on multiple occasions had anti Semitic slurs to people. That's amazing. It's amazing. My favorite one is what is this, uh, this he has with a manager of like a, a trading card game store. Abandoned him because you know he's being a fuck creeper. Good. And uh, he was something either a troll or himself. I can't remember. Recorded the conversation. Um. And when they kept telling him to leave, he pulled a cart straight out of South Park. Just looked and called him damn Jew. Amazing. Like, damn Jew, like straight out of South Park. I mean, if South Park was a newer show than it was, I would have to assume Cartman's based off of Chris Chan. <laughs> Link See, I would think that was really that's so a fair idea. But, um, We've gathered more tablet fragments. Let's go see the fucking professor. He's got fucking pickles. And normally I wouldn't go too deep on Chris Chan stuff. We're playing a Sonic the Hedgehog game, so... We have to make fun of him, otherwise uh, we might realize we're worse. We're not, dude. <laughs> so, uh, so you can put into the character, put into the fact that he is, uh... Well, yeah, you know, I know, he's he's homophobic, he's anti-woman, he's, I'm pretty sure racist. Well, no. well, here, well, dude, it gets fucking crazier because all that shit that he said, all the fucking anti-Semitic, mm. racist, uh, racist I've been stuff, expecting you, Sonic. You've done a fine job out. collecting tablet fragments. We don't have any time to waste. Go and open the door immediately Slave. and pay Otto a visit. He should be able to provide assistance. I was surprised to learn Otto yeah, is a know, guardian, and I've known him so long. Interrupting me talking about Chris Chan. There's, there's an irony to that. It was because of him, in fact, that I embarked on a research career. I, I just want everyone to acknowledge this weird juxtaposition of this old man and Amy. Funny how friendship. <laughs> Funny how so, friendships can be so influential. Alright then. Go, Seattle. I need to make me a sandwich. Yeah. Cucumbers. No! Oh. I wonder who's convinced the key is quite clever. Oh my god, this is actually- oh my god, this is actually working. This is- this is fucking hilarious. I haven't had any, like, breakdown on my, uh, internet. All because I just put it on I imagine I put it on you heard all about tablets from the professor. Hmm. 
Okay, so kind of is to hand over your tablet fragments. I press and push and it's done. Tablet to open the temple door. I could do that. <laughs> All right, so... No, uh, as I was saying, as, as I was saying before, Professor Pickle interrupted me talking about Chris Chan. Chris Chan, uh, Chanographers will get that one. Um... Uh, he went on to be what is called a tom girl at the time. Mm. Just a dude that wants to dress up as a chick. Okay. I guess. Then he, uh, I guess he, I guess he goes on to identify as a woman. The series hasn't got that far. There's like ten episodes straight in a row yeah, about I, him in 2010. Oh. I'm, yeah, I'm aware that he's uh, trans now, but uh, I don't know if he or okay. she still is or not. It's a uh, Chris. Like he changed uh, his yeah, name. I think, I think, and I think she's still. Oh, yeah. I'm not too sure though. Athena, you think? Christine, I think Christina, that's it. Don't yeah. quote me on that because I don't. I'm oh, not yeah, gonna. I, I don't. I don't, I don't care Christine. enough anymore. She she started making money off her own meme, so it wasn't as fun for one and two. There's no reason to pay attention to her. Like like I keep like I I enjoy. I'll just keep enjoying uh, comprehensive history. So when, if one Look at one day. If they get to current time in like 20 years, I'll be, I'll be satisfied. Dude, this fucking thing. Why are we fighting an Aquaman? No, I don't hate it. Why are we fighting an Aquaman villain, though? I don't know why we're fighting him, but I don't hate it. What? But it's a fishy. Out of oh, yeah. water. Yeah, yeah, I think I heard him. Take this! Take this! It's, uh, the good old days. Oh, I wonder how he, it fucking flies. Uh, levitation. Take this. It literally is take this from Sign Adventure 1. Why? That's great. Because it's no, a no, popular no, no, no. line. They, 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 they brought in the voice actor for Egan just to sit down and say, Take this. Take this. How about this? Are we? You little. You little. You little. The only thing that would make me interested in uh, uh, Chris Chan's storyline is uh, if she somehow becomes like uh, unabashed and leftist. I feel like that's where the story <laughs> needs to go now. <laughs> An unabashed of what? Uh, un, uh, like just a very uh, uh, what's it? Unashamed leftist. Just far leftist. That'd be funny. That would be absolutely goddamn sterile. As far left as you can go. That that would be the perfect allegory. It would never work for, it would for, never work for uh, Christina. Never work yeah. for her, but there is that weird pipeline of 4chan to leftists that exists. So I, I, it would be great if she just lived that out. <laughs> it'd be a it'd be a full on uh, arc. A great hell. Yeah. How about this? That one's new, I think. Yeah, I think it is. For that. I do like how they thought it would be a good idea to have Sonic's and the boys had to go, Woo! They just thought that was a good idea. You're small, Sonic. You're small, you see? What's leveling up to again? Oh, it gives you another boost. You can make a boost bar, I think. Boo. Can you jump into Okay. You sure can. Oh, he said it twice in a different tone. That means they were going to record it twice. Yep. Oh, cool. Super epic. Yeah. You know, I'm sure this is way more fun to play than watch. Nah. It's I mean, kind of boring. It looks pretty boring. Oh no. Oh, the, the pseudo shoot em up mechanics? You know, you're, you're, you're playing Galaga with a hedgehog? Yeah. Really, like, really bad Galaga, though. Yeah, like, yeah that's fair. That's it could be. I mean, it is. It was so oh, that's bad. Right, though, so. All it's, worth it. That might tell you how bad it was. Yeah. <laughs> that might be basic, is what I'm getting out of that. Basic bitch. I, I have cereal. 
he Off shared that with me. Off-brand pumpkin yeah. spice cereal? Yeah. It's, pumpkin uh, spice, uh, you know, pumpkin spice get, gets kind of a bad rep from time to time, but you, but that is the most basic bitch thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, it is great. We did it. Are we done? Did we beat the game? No. Well, then shut up, Anthony. Stop giving me false hope. I meant we stop we restored the chaos. And we'll... Did you stop being a fucking werewolf But guys, thing? we we no. still need restore. We need to restore four more of the chaos emeralds. Fucking shoot me! Stupid fucking face. Well, it's just as confused as we are. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned this on the show. I saw this on Twitter the other day, and I, I think it might be true. This is the first game where they made Sonic's mouth a side mouth. Maybe Professor Pickle has a uh, new destination. Fuck you. Time to pay him a visit. Give him some fucking chocolate. Uh, but what I was saying is, uh, if you pay attention to the Sonic's mouth, it's always to the side now. And apparently this is the first game that does it. And uh, oh, after they point Sonic, it out, it bothers me. Your timing is p perfect. Additional study of the Gaia manuscripts has yielded new information. Your next destination is the frigid region of snow and ice, Hollis, Alaska. Alaska. You will, Alaska. You will need to consult the local population for details. I look forward to hearing good news from you, Sonic. I'm busy doing fucking nothing. Yeah, right? She's perfectly capable. It's implied that she's perfectly capable of doing stuff. Nah. She's just in this game because of fan service. Like, that's it. That's it. Like, she's there. Amy yeah. is there. Yeah. Just like in colors. Just like in colors. Who cares? Honestly, it's you more... You could have replaced her with fucking... You could have replaced her with Mighty the Armadillo, and we wouldn't f yeah, bat, an eye, bat an eye. Okay, to be fair, we would bat an eye, but oh, I'm pretty sure, care. like, the casual Sonic oh, fan base would be Listen, I apologize for that old favor. I asked you for last time. What brings you oh, yeah. here this time? What? You think I know more about the shrine than I let on? Does this Ooh, thing, you, does this you fa hiding, bitch? Does this face say otherwise? Very yes. intuitive of you. Yes. What's with no teeth? You need teeth, lady. I I can yeah. see the teeth. It's just barely, it. barely, shat barely small. Over, like she's got one row of teeth on the top. You're, you guys are clearly sheeple. That's the thin layer of cum she keeps there. Actually, it's ice. It's debris yeah, it's that her husband's hiding. My husband yeah. and I are guardians of the Alaska Temple of Gaia. My Ooh. husband Jerry, a uh, Jerry. Jerry has a <laughs> yeah, three. It's through through? the other tablet. You'll need to get <laughs> further in the Jerry. shrine. Fuck it. But lately, he's been acting really strange. In it would be funnier if Anthony was just like, his name is Bob. <laughs> but try talking to him yourself. You know what's right. really frustrating about this whole situation? We're basically doing the exact same fucking quest that we uh -huh. did last time we were here. That's right. Hi, oh, I'm the wife. You should go talk to my husband. Go talk to my child. I'm so embarrassed. I can't get it up in this cold weather. <laughs> what? Uh, no, I have a tablet, you ask? I guess that depends. Are you a cop? If you listen to my troubles, I might have something like that for you. I'm sitting uh, at the ever, bar. Ever since my f wife found out my dick don't work, she's been calling me a big chicken. Here I am, supposed to be one of the guardians of the temple, but I let everyone down, including my penis. Say, what do you think? What do you think? I'm a big chicken? Yes, you're a huge fucking bitch. Very That's all the characters. Sigh. <laughs> I thought so. Well, I guess I'm gonna kill myself. Thanks, man. You gave me the courage. We're supposed to cheer him up. That's funny as shit. Yeah, we have to lie. Oh, man, you're awesome. Oh, it's you. You come back to tell me I suck. Blah blah yeah. blah. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, we're supposed to take it. I have no, you're not an asshole for hiding from your wife just cuz. Ah, I knew it. Fuck yeah, I'm no chicken. Ah oh, man, I kick so much ass. I'm so fucking cool. Side filling that <laughs> Looks like we're playing a werehog level. He Finally. just looks in the mirror and he goes, I suck. Wait, no I don't. I'm awesome. Hell yeah. Just because I'm in $500,000 in bankruptcy, I'm probably gonna lose 
one and maybe both of my properties, everything I hold dear in my heart doesn't mean all the material possessions I uh, scam people out of. David, why? why uh, do he's you not like, a piece of shit. Why, no, why do you like? Why, why do you like taking pleasure in the uh, oppression of gamers? <laughs> Why do you hate gamers so much? God damn it! Did I did I do a DSP hand out? That's funny as shit. <laughs> what you? What was the question? Oh no! When uh when I said DSP in a nutshell, I made fun of how he's like five hundred thousand dollars in debt. Yeah. He's like he's filed for bankruptcy. And he's gonna like probably lose one or both yeah, of his yeah. properties right. that he owns. Yeah. And uh, every earthly possession he scammed uh his fans out of. Right. And then I asked you, why do you take joy in the oppression of gamers? Oh, oh, I didn't get that question. Sorry. Like I said, I, I'm pretty sure I timed out while having a DSP ramp. Yeah, yeah. Um, because DSP is uh, not even a gamer. I, 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 <laughs> I he's less of a gamer than me, so. I mean, he does play games all the time, though. Yeah, and he sucks at every single one of them. Yeah, but that's not that's not what. Absolutely fucking awful. Like, and blamed everything. Fucking everything. And has openly um, admitted that he probably needs glasses and he refuses to get them because he doesn't need them. You know, he's openly admitted he probably needs them. He doesn't want to look like a dork. Even though he already looks like a dork. Oh, yeah, because he already looks like a fucking alpha male. Yeah. It's, Guys, I suck okay. at video games. I don't really even know why I play anymore. Is like saggy, lumpy body. Like all the jokes we make about me having a shitty body, DSP is like. But yeah, he has gout, so. His gout. <laughs> he does have gout. So yeah. And uh, the disease of kings, man. He's the king yeah. of hate. Yeah. Um. But no, uh, Anthony. Uh, what do you consider? Uh, a, who, who do you consider gamer? Anthony, I'm curious on your take on gamers. What were you? Uh, fucking dead. Amazing. Hmm. And that, and he like blatantly, he blatantly like, he, 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 like tell like he really hates half, at least half the shit. Is. Right. If you play on your phone, I don't really like see you as a gamer as much. Uh -huh. <laughs> like <laughs> you're like, if you call yourself, if you, let's so if you play, say you're a gamer and all you do is play on your phone. Yeah, you're not a gamer. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. I, I, I do love that take, Anthony, because that's exactly what I expect you to say. I don't really disagree. I just like how that's your only quantifier for a gamer is just any, anyone but the phone. You, it all, that, that, that's like me in high school when I used to say, the only thing you play Call of Duty, and you're, then you're not really a gamer. Okay? You really play video games. It doesn't but even have to be Call of Duty. It could literally be anything else. What? Like, oh, you just mean to play anything besides phone games? Yeah. Like, yeah, like at, at, fir at first when you said that, I was like, does he mean like just playing video phone games by themselves, or playing them and other games? Because no, uh, he just means by like just themselves, like only playing. Yeah, them. But uh, like, I play both. I play shit on my phone. Right, right. I remember. I remember when uh, I had a Sonic Rush and would be able and unlock everything not rush uh, dash and unlock everything uh everything at the time without spending microtransactions i have no life left. to be honest it doesn't help that uh when it comes to mobile games like the gouging and you shit like that gouging? yeah and shit like that right Right, but saying that you play mobile games is not so much as being cringy enough to say I'm a gamer. It's more like I'm uh, I am uh, easily addicted. The person. Yeah. Uh, if there was, uh, funny enough, if there was any like Sonic mobile game I'd recommend, it would be uh, the first Sonic Dash. I don't know about Sonic Dash Two. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, you're perfectly capable of unlocking everything uh, yeah. in the game without buying anything. Perfectly capable of doing it. You gotta play at least once a day. Now, uh, when it comes to like, because uh, I, I think the the term or the label gamer is silly anyway. But yeah. like, I think it has less to do with actually playing games and more how comfortable are you wearing a Zelda T-shirt in public. 
I think that's a better metric. Very comfortable, of, uh, to be fair. Even to this day, I'm, I'd, I'd be comfortable in one. Right, right. Uh, but when it comes to, like, who are the good and bad gamers, I would actually agree with your high school take there, David. If you're someone who plays only mindless games, uh, I, I'm not a big fan. And when I say mindless, I mean, like, literally, you, you thrive on the fact there is no story, and you don't have to do any critical thinking outside of what you've already done a million times before. Yeah, that, that's a fair point. I'm not a big yeah, fan. I won't, I, won't, I won't credit, I won't credit people, I, I mean... I will. I will say that if you play Call of Duty, I mean, as long as you have a reason, other than the generic reason, there is no reason. There, 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 I would argue there is no reason. Oh, it is no. Fuck no. Yeah. The first Black Ops at least had an okay story. Yeah, like Call of Duty's been like officially overkilled dead for at least like five years. Yeah, like nowadays, yeah, uh, yeah, you're absolutely. Yeah, the only re reason people play Call of Duty or Battlefields the multiplayer. Yeah. Which, you know, if that's your thing, that's fine, but, like, there's, it's, it's almost like oh, the watch, it's almost like watching sports, like, you're just doing a mindless thing almost on repeat at that point. Just to break, just to break boredom, yeah. Yeah. And, and, to, and then to be fair, I, I find that there's some merit in enjoying a sport, if you're gonna be, like, a dumb douchebag about it. I mean, you know, I, uh, I'm, I'm what you would say a real gamer, I think we put the normies in camps, so no. <laughs> Fuck, fuck the sports. That's a fair point. I mean, it's mostly, if I, if, I, if I actually had to critique that, it's all, through, like, all of my actual critiques of the sports industry is the fact it's an industry, industry in itself. Industry, so. yeah, yeah. If we're talking like that, then you're yeah, absolutely yeah. right. Um, I, 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 I will always think there will be some kind of, like, level of business in a sport, no matter what. Industry, you're right, you're right, you're right on the fucking money. I mean, when it comes to watching sports, you d it doesn't have to be. Like, if you watch school sports, like your local sports, that's not technically <laughs> the same. But I also don't support that for also... If you're, if you're, talking, if you're watching sports on television like on, a, on a professional level, oh, yeah. yeah, it's going to be some sort of business. Right, right. Always. It kind of can't be avoided, sadly. But, uh, I, yeah, you say, but when you say industry, yeah, you're absolutely... Yeah, fuck that. Uh, I'm so black pilled. I, I buy into the theory that uh, sports is uh, a uh, uh, a Xanax to the masses. I'm deep brain, if you will. Very I mean, deep brain takes. I mean, one of my uh, a documentary I watched when I was like teen, I think, about pro wrestling and talking about how uh, there's comparisons to like people who watched the Coliseum and began its like downtime in the Coliseum. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the exact, exact point to what I'm getting at, though, right? Like, exactly, that's what I'm saying. I think you might have a point there. Yeah. Like, um, well, I mean, the thing with wrestling, though, it's actually like watching a normal TV show, because it's scripted. It it's, a, so it's, it's a TV show pretending to be a wrestling show. Is a, yeah. My favorite way, the scripters of it. But um, but it, it's something you could like compare to real sports, too, I think. I think I can fly. Right. Uh, the only reason I... Because the Coliseum is a good example, because people were probably really into that. But the people that spend... Like, all they wear is sports shit, all they talk about sports shit, like, they're just... Like, I don't know how the fuck you get that deep into it. And, like, that's normal to be that deep into it. That's what's weird about sports. Yeah, that, yeah. I always tell... I always tell people... I always, uh, I used to, When I was, like, a... I rambled, like, six ways a Sunday there. Um... I was, like, 14 or 15 or, like, 16. I would watch these, uh, fucking... I watch these like long form D and D chat things mm -hmm. the whole time. Um, I just talk about general stuff. Step that would go. I don't know how the fuck you could watch that. And I go, you know, I don't know how the fuck you could listen to like ha the AM radio. <laughs> <laughs> you listen. To I don't understand how you can watch listen to basketball. Oh, like man. at least with watching basketball, I can actually like yeah. see what's going on. It's a visual medium. Yeah. Or, uh, gosh, I don't understand how you can watch someone talk about the same shit for, 12, for six hours straight on Sports Center. Just yeah, don't dude. get it. Now, because, like, like, I'm not, like, in real, in the real sense of this, I don't care that he watches Sports Center, and he does right. what he does in his fucking it's free just, time. Yeah, it's just, so you're gonna it's fucking make fun of me for watching long winded, like, long winded, uh, has either already happened, um, or is completely irrelevant. Like the real world, don't 
Hey, then, then fucking look in a fucking mirror. Well, yeah, that's... Because that's what's funny about that kind of stuff when it comes to, like, uh, the joke about gamers being oppressed is that people used to make fun of gamers not because they're wasting their life. They're just wasting their life on the wrong thing. They have, to waste, they have to waste their right life on the right thing. And fuck, dude. I always said... I always joked and said fantasy football is just Dungeons and Dragons for jocks. Hell yeah, dude. It hey. really is. Really is, except it's a little. It's except it's pretending to be competitive. And you know it's gambling. Great now. patience, Anthony. Great patience. <laughs> I thought I. I thought the I symbol would have appeared for the thingy, my Yeah. It, yeah. It's that's a fair. It's, that's a death. fair point, but he's going away from you, and you're not fast. I can. I gotta believe. I gotta believe in the heart of the dick. I like how you jumped on it. <laughs> it's a good thing it doesn't do damage. Wee. Like. Like to a degree, I used to have like the same like mentality of eh, sports, whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why people would like it. But then I met, uh, I think we call, I think we called him Tony. Yeah. And the last time right. I mentioned him. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's your boy, Tony. Right, Tony. Yeah, Tony, like Anthony, you, you remember Tony? I do. Uh, <laughs> we, we went to, uh, we went to go see the Broly movie with Tony. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He's called Tony in this. Okay, gotcha. I like how you just glitched your way up there. In true, shoddily made Sonic game fashion. Yeah. Nice. In true Anthony fashion, he somehow finds a way to kill himself there. So what about good old Tony? He like I think I told you the story, but I'll tell it for the audience. Uh, well, he probably agrees with me. Fucking uh. He picked a sports bar and had us go. That's right. Sick, sick game over screen. No, it was like it. Game over screen just ever. because I attacked. Game over just screen. because I attacked and I basically fell off the screen or off the cliff. I'm not, I'm not even gonna blame you there. Always suck. Um, yeah. it's Jump off the screen and I die. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I just, can I just click it off? Kind. Um. Yeah, he, we were, like, me and Chandler, we kind of, like, watch some sports sometimes. Like, he, he does more than I do. Yeah. I do. But if there's something good on, I'll, I'll fucking, and there's nothing else to do, I'll, I'll fucking stare at it. Yeah. Pay attention. That's what happens when you dead. That, that is, that, that really is the only good thing about sports, is that it gives you participate socially. That's, uh, that's really all it's good for. Yeah, of course I'm gonna know. Like, I'm, I know what I, I know. Of course I'm gonna know what good football is. Unquote. But uh, we were me and uh, Anthony and Chandler. We were cracking jokes about like one of the games on there. Uh, and we and, and it, we made it like a we made like a bit at this. Yeah, we're we're, no, we're totally not cringy at all, by the way. Uh, Crack it was cracking a joke and making a bit about a uh, fucking about how we want to watch like football but with Smurfs murder each other. I mean that'd be pretty epic, yeah. And, to and Tony fucking responds, with, "I don't understand. I don't understand sports. Never will understand sports, and I don't understand the, the, the validity of sports." This <laughs> robot is fucking possible in the middle of this conversation. Hell yeah, dude! It's perfect like, all the time. Why'd you pick a sports bar? He he likes the attendees, you know. No, he didn't even get this. He got uh, nachos. He said the nachos were really good. The nachos were really bad. <laughs> good. He and he knew that they were shit, too. And he apologized to me. I'm like, they were a fucking bar. Sports bar. See, I, I'm on, I'm almost on the level that uh, I think wrestling is a good indication of how we can fix the other sports media into making them more acceptable. Oh, they're so oh, they're so blatantly marketed, uh, markety. So bad. Yeah. Yeah, like that, that's what we it's every 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 sport needs to be MMA. Every sport needs to be what? Every sport needs to be MMA, where they do the like almost like the same thing wrestling does. They need a bullshit. Oh yeah, like um, MMA has got a, MMA to where all it's uh, for all it's uh, for how stupid it can be and how uh, much how? Uh, <laughs> their fans are obnoxious. Yeah. They're fucking geniuses, dude. They took the pro wrestling formula and then just yeah. said, well, what if we made the fight for you? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> dude, like, it, like, Tony McGregor is like the modern day uh, Roddy, uh, uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Dude, Tony was totally my main man. He hooked me up. Yeah, you and Tony were, bro were blood brothers. 
<laughs> Best friends. Lovers, even. Uh, Best friends. You could not find a better pair of Tony and Anthony. Tony and Anthony. Tony, Tony to Tony. Even yeah, though so I was wasn't really listening to him much. It's sure is it on CBS. Yeah, the funny thing is, Anthony, if you ever see Anthony in real life, you would never imagine him to be a bully, but I feel like Anthony would be the perfect bully to Tony. <laughs> You're so right. They're both, they're both kind of socially awkward and from, 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 no, from, from, no, from an outside socially perspective. Amazing. So, so, no, so, uh, so no one's gonna like stop him, stop yeah. Anthony from picking on him. Yeah. Um, and Anthony's got like a, a very blunt uh, social etiquette. Because I started, so, I started interacting with him, and then I kind of stopped once he said he liked GX season four. <laughs> and then I was what, like, I, okay. Like, like, that's like, that's, like, the, like, that's like, the perfect yeah, line. Yeah. I can see fucking Tony like, praising Yu Gi Oh! GX season 4, the dumbest melodramatic season of the entire series. It is. And then Anthony can go, that's fucking stupid. I think I think that might I I might have said that, maybe. Well, it's so it's so no, funny. We laugh. No, we completely disagree with it. We were like we were like, what? What are you talking about? I love that goofy shit from season one. Season one, Yu Gi Oh! GX. What I said. Yeah. He said he hated it. I'm just like, amazing. And then I think I said, so you like Jaden <laughs> depressed? Cool. But if I, right? I was like, have you ever had fun in your life? Is all I could say. <laughs> I don't, I'm pretty sure I've. I, I remember Tony from uh, elementary school. I can answer that question. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's never had. Like, this is the guy. Like, like. This is the fucking guy who had uh, a Lincoln Park. Hell yeah. Um. Metal Gear Rising, I think. Oh hell um, yeah! And like half of the edgier Sonic tracks. Good. Damn, on, a, on an MP on an MP yeah, three on an MP three USB on his Damn. car. Damn. Like, I remember like getting in the car and then hearing uh, Infinite's theme theme from Sonic Forces, and I'm like, oh my god. Man. We're just, like we were just making fun of this. Like, I just I just crazy. realized. Tony is literally what Anthony would be if Anthony had no comedy and was just like not. No sense, comedy and, no sense of comedy and even worse parenting. Yeah, I don't know about that, but yeah. Tony, Tony's parents are cool. They gave me a drink. Totally. Oh, trust me, they're just fucking cool. <laughs> it, it makes sense. Somehow worse, and I don't know how. Also, I just, I just want to defend Anthony's honor here. Uh, you call him socially awkward. Is it? Is it social awkwardness that allows Anthony to make cat noises in professional settings and get away with it? Yeah, I don't think yeah, so. No, no, I'm not I saying it's a bad I don't thing. Think that so. he's, I'm, not, I'm not. I mean, to be fair, Guys I'm also love it. socially awkward. Well, no, no, I'm just, I'm just making a joke that Anthony's weird. Oh, you're, you're absolutely, you're absolutely right though. Like, yeah, yeah, he, he absolutely does, and it's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's I was awesome. born this way. I, I confronted him one time. It was in uh, class, and he made like an animal noise, and people laughed. And I was just like, oh, explain he... it to me. Explain. <laughs> That was in Dr. Hill's class, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, explain <laughs> to me why you did it, and then explain to me how it worked out for you. <laughs> oh, that was great. I totally forgot about that. I'm glad you remembered that. Oh, how, how could I forget? Why you were not bullied by everyone. Yeah, yeah, please explain to me how you have not been beaten up. <laughs> in high school. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> does, it's us getting... Well, you know, well, yeah, you were, he actually was uh, physically uh, bullied a little bit in high school, right? Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. You Were you picked on by a super senior, too? <laughs> no, no, not a super senior. That's epic. Hey, see, 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 the legends! The, the legends are true! <laughs> <laughs> you can fail. Oh, man. No, I, I, I don't know if you told me... Uh, you probably told me the situation. I just didn't know they were super senior, but you could repeat it. There was like a like the first like the class that I had in high school where I met Grant. Mm. Um, had, with, yeah, I didn't I didn't censor his name. Fuck him anyway. <laughs> um, uh, those are no old friend of mine. Right, right. Um, I worked on one and... of his games. It, <laughs> me and Anthony totally worked on his dev team. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah, around Anyway, uh, we, uh, I met him in that class, and his, like, the guy he was sitting with that I thought was, like, a good buddy of his, 
like this fucking like former football guy on the football team of our high school. Yeah. Um, and he was like awkwardly addicted to an awkward level. And Grant would just Grant and Grant being Grant didn't think anything of it. Was this um, like a big uh, doofy looking dude? Yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, I'll tell you his name after the after the okay. show. I probably won't know his name, but uh, he might have rode. Probably, my probably won't. I don't know. He's a big doofy motherfucker, and uh, by the end of it, I did actually. By the end of the class, I actually did take a swing. Nice. <laughs> but why? Um, what, what was he doing, dude? We, we were like talking. We were like kind of talk. We were kind of like jabbing at each other because it was the last day of this fucking class. I've never seen him again. Yeah. And he fucking um put my hoodie over, like, pin my hoodie over my head, trying to, like, hold me down. And oh, I just, hell yeah! I fucking immediately turn around and try to throw a hammer shot at him. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking hammer, like, you know a hammer throw, like a fucking, like, back swing. Yeah. Your fist. Um. And he fucking, he fucking dodged that. Oh, it was really funny, because I was a freshman, and, <laughs> like, a 14-year-old scared, like, what, a 19-year-old? Yeah. <laughs> it's, beautiful. it's beautiful. I just the ma the fact that a nine year old was even like physically bullying a fourteen year old is great. Yeah, I like can I like, take that to the police like for assault? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he can could. I He's adult. For that. Can I get this motherfucker like arrested now? Like, hey, please, oh, dude. fourteen, a super a nineteen year old beat the shit out of me. Can he go to prison now? Uh. He didn't. He didn't beat I didn't get that close, but there was this one douche, like, you know the guy who turns 18 and has to remind everyone that he can't fight you now because he will get arrested? Yeah, I've never yeah, had like, anyone had like that. Yeah, it was super awkward because he's just like, man, uh, after you said that, I would normally I beat your ass, but I get arrested for it. And I was just like, okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> like, what the fuck even? Like, it that's, wasn't even that's that, that going to happen in high school. Yeah. We're gonna, be, we're gonna fight each other badly enough to where we're gonna require the cops to arrest one of us. That's so gonna happen. I mean, to be fair, there was a couple of cops. Not like... Well, yeah, after uh, Columbine, they added cops to all the fucking schools. Yeah, right? yeah. It, it, it fixed all the issues. We had <laughs> totally. Yeah, fine. we had no bad like problems with school shooters at all after that. Yeah, I I fucking hated those cops too because if you had to. They were dicks. Be, yeah, yeah. I think you mentioned it. They were kind of dicks. I never really really interacted with them, but the few times I heard them talk or heard story more stories from other people, they were like dicks. Well, yeah, the thing is, if you have to be out of outside the school for any reason, that's legit. They will like treat you like criminals if they see you. And it's the worst. The like C9 That's students, awkward. the people that went to the oh, technical I'm glad school. Shut in. <laughs> the technical school, technical school people could drive themselves back and forth from the other school. So at right. our school, we could not go out for lunch, right? Like we couldn't leave to go to lunch. You have to eat lunch at yeah. school. So no one is supposed to be leaving or, or going essentially. But these motherfuckers always forgot about the C9 kids. So all the C9 kids were on their hot list of just getting fucked with on like the daily. They're so, more, um... Yeah, like it's dumb. Like, and then if you were C9 and you left your book bag in your bag, sometimes they wouldn't let you go back to your car if they found you. They would be like, no, go back inside, fuck you. So yeah, they were just, they were just pricks. They just didn't do anything. They were there to be hall monitors, but police. <laughs> they, they're hall monitors, but with a taser. Which was weird, because we actually had adult hall monitors, too. But we had police, so like, I don't know what the point That's of that weird. was. weird! I didn't even know we had that in our high school. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, he got really shitty with me. I'm just like, I'm C9. Like, can you prove it? I'm like, here's a C9 ID, I guess. Does that I count? I don't, I don't think my school ever... Like, I've never seen a hall monitor at my school. Oh, they were complete assholes at our high school. Oh, they yeah. also had to, if you, if you were late, if you were fucking late to class, they would send you to the fucking principal's office. Yeah, they would... Yeah, I re <laughs> that I Damn. remember. Now I remember this shit. And this yeah. was like... This is when our like high school had like an extension yeah. to the building that took that when we that made freshmen like fucking teachers. Yeah. Yeah. If you were, were in the freshman like, academy, all the freshman you're classes fucked. are the complete opposite side of the building now. Yeah. It's technically a separate building. Like God forbid if you're like a person that took Admittedly, like a yeah. Spanish class. Yeah, and I literally, I literally uh, carried all my books all day because I I knew I had no time to go to my locker. 
I would always try to figure out which classes required a textbook and didn't, because you know how some class, some high schools never use their textbooks. Yeah. Never use their textbooks. Yeah. Um, I would be like, okay, so here's the book bags I'll need forever, and here are the ones that I will never need again. And then at the end of the year, I'm like, where the fuck is my math book? I remember the dumbest reason I got bullied. It was because of the school's fault for that. Is that people? Some people would make fun of me for carrying all my books. So good, good on you, school. It's like, oh no, you got me. I'm carrying books. Phoned. <laughs> this is the best boss fight I've ever seen. Well, like many. Even boss fight. It's just though you can't progress until you kill everything. Yeah. But those are those are things in this game, and I hate it. I think there's I, I think there's everything also in Sonic Boom. I can't wait really to not play that ever. Uh, which one's that? Sonic Boom. Yeah. Well, hell yeah, dude. That one has multiplayer, right? You can play co-op on that. I think you can do that. I don't, know. <laughs> don't worry, David. We'll play it on the Super uh, Wii U, and uh, it'll have HD graphics, and uh, you'll be able to play online. It'll be great. I like their mar fucking marching animations. Oh yeah, it's fucking late. Why? Anthony, are you are you basically fucked? Uh, maybe. Your health. You're tr just trying to kite him right now. Yeah. Don't you know the uh, idiosyncrasies of this game, Anthony? Jeez. I think he does. That's the sad part. Is he's actually yeah. winning. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. Like with the with the with the, with the lamest hidden run tactics, I think whatever speaking. <laughs> I did it. Hell yeah. Did it. He did. Yeah. Oh. Back in the game. Hell yeah. I did it. Hell yeah. Can I start over? I suck. He's bad. I like how they had the target time for eight minutes, and they thought that was just okay to have a a, a level in a Sonic the Hedgehog game be eight minutes. Oh yeah, duh. This is very Wait, normal. Can you play Sonic Heroes? Yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> 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 At least those levels were, had more stuff in them. Time to go that to Spaghetti Bill. Fair point. I will not argue that it had more stuff. Spaghetti Land. Anthony, yes, what are we that... doing? Uh, Chip told us to go see the professor. Again, yes. How long have we been recording? For 90 years. Oh, Sonic, it's good to have you back. I've been so pissy fucking Amy and making sandwiches. <laughs> you, I, I never know what the time is. So I'll get right to the point. Your destination is Alaska. Get to it, Sonic, my boy. You know, guys, you know, guys, once this little coronavirus bullshit... Such a fish, guy, we have a quality time together. Ew, what the fuck are you doing with that old man? You know, time. I think we you left... Old man, you I pervert. think we I think we left here so yeah, the did. professor could tell us uh -huh. to go back here. That's correct. Good job, I don't Chip. see a problem. I don't see a problem. You know, to Alaska rather than being told we gotta go to Italy to go to Alaska and then be just be told to go to Alaska. Hell yeah. Shit. Yeah, let's find someone in Alaska that can put together the fucking tablet or whatever. Oh, so that means we're gonna get a boss fight in this place. Good. Alright, uh, I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Well, what, what, do you, what do you know? You've got the tablet fragments. You so might be chosen ones after all. I know I've been saying a lot of silly stuff and I apologize. That was all like fringe bad. That was all just a ruse, you see. You probably thought I was just a doddering old man. But I could put tablet so fragments together. It's the it's my business. That Jerry too, but my role is special, don't you know? What's your little jerk, jerk offer? Yes, let's see. Put this like this there. Uh, yeah, the stooky. Uh, your tablet. I mean, I mean, this sounds like the kind of guy who would like, puts together jigsaw puzzles like for 
<laughs> Not much we've I guess people like to put jigsaw puzzles for fun, but he looks like the kind of loser who puts jigsaw puzzles here. Definitely. Not much we villagers can do about the crazy things going on in this world, but you fellas. You. Well, alright. Mm. Uh, what, what was that? Would you like some re seal blubber? <laughs> they kill seals. Hell yeah. It's okay. Apparently he was uh, the real... Well, a special guardian. Oh, good. He was a special guardian. He was a put together -er man. Uh, I didn't get to see his face. That'd be epic. That'd be epic if he had that fucking smile he had, but in the background was bloody uh, baseball bats and dead seal corpses. <sighs> in my in my Sonic game. Hashtag my Sonic game. Hashtag so my Sonic game. Go, uh, well, you know what? When this whole I'm like. Maybe for some chocolate bars, cheese no. sandwiches, and shit. Hell yeah. You, you, would you be down for that, Anthony? Would you put a cucumber in your mouth for me? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't like Wait, cucumbers. It, it, I was gonna say that. I all. know, I know. You don't like anything that's the color green. They heard him as a child. And yet some, and yet, and yet somehow you are still thinner than me. What the fuck? <laughs> it's called society. Dude. Do you recall what Anthony does dying in? I, I lost footage here. Oh no! Oh, you lost footage? Uh, I'm, I'm back now. Oh, okay. Get me out of the stream. Uh, Anthony is skinnier than you, David, because of, um... We're assuming he has the metabolism of an actual potato. No, I'm assuming he has worms. That's that's my theory. That's my theory. He, just, he, just, he just ate dog shit when he was a baby, and the worms look mature. <laughs> he, he's uh he's that one uh, episode of Futurama. That's why that's why he's weirdly uh, strong as well. So, but the worms are lazy. Oh, they not, they don't give him abs yeah. or anything. Yeah. This is a weird boss. I like it though. That reminds me of uh, Spider-Man PS1 Doc a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing okay. I think it's I gotta beat up this. He's. God damn it, Anthony! I asked. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. Uh, you know it, what I mean? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Oh uh, well, it. it uh, you it, just assumed what you said with uh, the robotness. Yeah, I. You blacked. Oh you, shit! My chat went dead. Okay. Yeah. That's still funny that he yeah, assumed I can't, he was I, I, Like, like this, the, this Discord pop-out thing has been making my chats better. Well, but good. yeah, no, I, 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 apparently I still robot out. I can't tell if I robot out. Well, ever since the, the crisis, like, it was in full swing, I think Discord's just been a, a little crappier because everyone's using it. Yeah. There we go. Oh man, that lag. Oh hell yeah. I know, I was saying that this boss kind of reminded me of Dr. Rock. Oh. Uh, Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm doing okay. How about you? <laughs> That's not your fault, Anthony. It's... But you're still, yeah, you're still you, this you with me. You, you got it wrong, David. If you asked Anthony how, how he's been, he would say, I'm doing okay, and then just dead silence. He would not ask how you're doing. I know, I was, I know, I was just what he well, did Well, I would ask once just to see if he had a Grant story. <laughs> I, I'd have my reasons to pretend to be cool. I, mean, I mean, the only reason that I don't tell him on the channel is because I don't want to dredge that shit up on the internet. Like, time I mentioned, I think it was the first time I mentioned uh, him in the show. I think, we brought him, I think we've brought him up before. Oh, definitely. Maybe. I'm pretty I don't, sure. I don't, I don't, don't quote me on that shit, though. I'm pretty sure, but I don't know. I'm, I'm digging this Here music. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dare you motherfuckers. We have the technology. Oh, do, yeah. but do you have the patience? No. Never. Because, because I'm, a, I'm a I'm a wolf man. To give about it. You shoot balls. Do nothing. <laughs> you rub that neck on there, yeah, that's it. Yeah. 
time to finish him off. Please. No, this boss fight's great. I can't believe it's only been three minutes. I mean, it, feels, it feels like an hour. Like, like, five or six minutes. Yeah. This boss isn't bad. Like I said, I compared it to a boss fight I actually liked. Yeah. Um. I mean, for this game, yeah. For this this uh, style of gameplay is probably the better boss right now. S rank. I mean, with Spider-Man, the, the Spider-Man game, you got to play with, you know, web powers and had to dodge more shit. And... Yeah, but you can't just give Sonic web powers. That'd be silly. I like yeah, yeah, you can give him, you know, other things to do besides smash a generator and throw ice at a guy. David, all he has is stretchy wolf arms. You, there's only so much you can do with that. You can swing from vines or from little ledges, and you can punch things. That's all you can do. For distance, yeah, almost like web. Yeah. Hey guys, there there are seven chaos symbols, right? I think so. There, yeah, there's seven dragon balls. Whatever. Okay. Uh, just wondering how close we are at the end of the game. We're over halfway there. Yep. So I can beat the hey. professor. Blah blah blah. Why do I do this after every fucking time? Because you expect him to say something new. I know. At least say something with chocolate chip, for fuck's sake. Hey, yep. Yeah. Three pieces. <coughs> are, we, uh, are we done recording? Uh, I feel like we have to see what's I'm not gonna lie. I, we have to see what Spagonia Man has to say. And we'll end it there. Yeah. We got this far. Yeah, sure. I can't believe there's not a Sonic Unleashed 2. You should make one. The fuck, the fuck would you turn into oh, a Sonic, vampire? Sonic, once again, your timing yes. is good. After some consideration, I've decided to move the lab. I'm leaving with Amy as soon as possible. We're getting married, hitchhiking. Uh, my ongoing analysis is uh, Shema. We're getting married to Shema. A guy in manuscript contained a rich record of Shema. Uh, direct investigations of this historical town should reveal even more. Our base of operations must now shift from Spaghettiville to Shamaville. Smallville. Please go on to Smallville ahead of us. We will follow you as soon as preparations are complete. Good this luck. is weird. This is weird and dumb. Oh, so about that Sonic Unleashed 2, a vamp hog. Thoughts? Yeah. Um, he he doesn't drink blood, but he has the teeth anyway. But his power. Give him a red boat. Give him a red. Sam said at night you make him gray. Give him yeah. a red bow tie and a cape at night. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. Um, it's a stealth, and it rips off Metal Gear Solid. His shoes become super pointy. Yes. Uh, okay, um. I'm trying to think what powers he would have. Would he also just have stretch oh, arms? Well, the idea would be uh, the gameplay. Since you want to, if you want to keep the theme of ripping off other triple A, uh, ripping off triple A titles, um, have him rip off Metal Gear Solid with stealth missions, stealth missions all the fucking time. I, I like it. Bad, really bad stealth. Really, uh, really, yeah, three, really bad stealth. Yes. You have him even like, you have him like turn into a bat, and then you can like, yes. Hey, Oh yeah. You just have that. You just have that invention, huh? Yeah. Whatever. He studied Dark Guy before he did this. Yeah. yeah he's a fucking professional, even. Jeez. He's contrived. He's just that good. Activate my Dark Satan furnace. Jesus. How did you know that was my next team? <laughs> Dark Satan Furnace. That sounds like okay, a I bad Yu-Gi-Oh card. Oh, it does sound like, it sounds like a card poorly translated. Like you go to a flea market and you buy uh, bootleg cards. Hell yeah. Did you guys any did you guys ever get any of those as kids? Are you not, lucky? Uh, not uh, not that I'm aware of. What what? Uh, bootleg Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, I heard heard Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What was the first one? Bootleg. Oh, bootleg. No. Oh, Aw, damn. You missed, some, you missed some special autism cards. 
Yeah, it's just like the bootleg version of Exodia from that one animation. I am Exodia. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Or they, or they would be named stuff like, uh, I think there was an Exodia piece that was named like, uh, uh the con- or some shit. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I guess. <laughs> no, we have to view the world again. Give another spin. Yeah, and, yeah. And right round, right round, baby. Woo! We just have th- we just have three pieces of Exodia left. Oh Fuck fucking yeah. joy! Next time on console commandants, I'm gonna break my bladder. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude. Next time, we're gonna Next summon time. Shenron. 